How you guys doing? I'm excited to share. We started our down payment assistance lender series. So frequently asked question, you know, we always receive, what is down payment assistance? Where can I find it? How many programs are out there? The list goes on. So we're partnering with different lenders, asking them the questions so you can get the answers straight from the source and really understand what programs are out there and available to you. That is very important because when it comes to down payment assistance programs, it varies from lender to lender. Some lenders offer stuff in certain cities, certain counties. It could be something that's specific to them that they offer. And these are all things that you need to know about. We love to keep you informed. So make sure you tune in and watch all of these available episodes as they continue to you know, be released. But our down payment assistance program lender series has officially started. So I want to share the information with you. Hope you guys have a great day. Okay, so I'll go ahead and start. And what we're going to do is we're going to ask uh, um, some questions. We're going to have like the top 10 questions that your typical home buyer would ask. So we're going to ask, so we'll start off with, the first question is, um, what program will you be discussing today? Yeah, so I'll be discussing the GSFA, the Golden State Financial Authorities uh, Platinum uh, Down Payment Assistance Program here. Okay, and what areas does that particular program cover? Like as far as, you know, counties or cities? Yeah, so it's it's pretty wide ranging. Um, certainly, like I know, just locally, an example here in Alameda, um, you're actually you can always pull this up too by county map to get specific okay. income limits and such. But um, you know, if one thing to keep in mind with these DPAs is, is there are a few uh, qualifications to meet things like a, an income li limit here. Okay. Okay. Uh, the next question there. Oh, you said income limits. So what are the you know the, the loan? Well, actually, loan limits. Are there loan limits also in addition to income limits? So the, the loan limits are usually applicable based off the county loan limits for conventional FHA products and such. But for this particular DPA, uh, the income limit to keep in mind for, for Alameda County, for example, is $102,320. Okay. And then you would also have the debt to income uh, limit as well. So Ron, if you could go over the debt to income. Correct. So minimum FICO on this program is 640. Maximum DTI is, is 45%. Um, nice thing though, it does provide some flexibility. You do not have to be a first time home buyer to participate in this one. Oh, okay. Okay. That's a, that's always a, a big question. Uh, let's see here. Another question they have is, are you allowed to have seller credits? If you actually use this loan, can you have seller credits in addition to getting the loan? So seller credits can be negotiated on, um, DPAs. Uh, Danny, is there anything in particular with, uh, seller credits as far as, um, uh, not that I'm aware of. Yeah. I think you can have seller credits or, uh, in some cases, lender credits as well. Oh, okay. So with that being said, can you layer that loan? Can you have that particular, um, down payment program with another one, or is it just only one that you can use? Yeah. So, uh, in some cases, lenders will have their own programs for, so for us, for example, we have a first time home buyer program where we actually, out of our profit line, will provide uh, $500 towards closing costs for a first-time home buyer. Um, some of the other programs we have available right now are for both teachers and first responders uh, to receive that same $500 credit towards closing costs. Okay, and so what is and how much do you get on this particular um, down payment program? How much do you get? I don't think I asked that question. Like, so, what, what do you get for that? Or so with this particular program, uh, the GSFA, you get, it's essentially a, a grant. Um, so uh, no interest, no payment, second mortgage. Uh, that essentially is as long as you uh, make those 36 consecutive mortgage payments is forgiven, uh, oh, right? Okay. So certainly, you know, if it's something that fits within your wheelhouse and you're able to qualify for it, it's a, it's a fantastic option to consider. Okay, okay. And um, those pretty much all the questions I have. If there's anything else you want to add on or Michael, if you have something you want to ask, um, I believe, did we go over, um, is the program a grant? Yeah. Yeah. Limited. And it's forgiven too. The grant is forgiven. And how long did you say we have to be in the grant? They have to be in the, have to pay before it's forgiven? So it, the second mortgage is there, no payments, no interest. And as long as 36 consecutive mortgage payments on the first mortgage are made, um, the, the grant is, is fully forgivable. 
but like say for example they just they they use this you know option to get in and then they sell like two years after they purchase it then they're going to have to pay back whatever amount that was given to them before they when they when they sell their house it'd still be a, a portion i'll be they'll have, so, have to be paid back yeah just to provide a visual here they provide okay. a pretty good example here so there is no uh, required time in the home um, between you know purchase and initial residency okay Okay, and I don't, that's pretty, I mean, that's pretty much it. You know, the, the goal, of course, is to help the uh, potential buyer or consumer understand that there are down payment programs available and let them know that they do vary, you know, case by case, as far as which program you're gonna be using. Um, our goal over time is to just, just down, look at each single one and see which one is something that's gonna be good for that potential buyer, because there's so many um, down payment programs that are available. And if there's anything else you want to add to that, if you guys want to add to when someone's looking, a potential buyer's looking for a down payment program, you know, is there anything you want to add so they'll know what to look for, where to go to look for? Yeah, certainly. So the first thing is, you know, any of these resources, GSFA, Genoa, some of these other products that we include, have a lot of these like uh, eligibility calculators and things. So just able to, you know, run through some scenarios, get a general sense of, of what a fit and what isn't. But, you know, certainly always recommend talking to, to an expert here, a mortgage analyst. Um, you know, one thing, you know, to consider too, is sometimes people are sitting close on the line between considering a DPA and not where, you know, the cash and the, the higher mortgage payments, you know, the kind of the pros and cons to weigh, sometimes just working with an expert to see, you know, what really is the best route and what scenario can you include on the whole horizon on scenarios, right? So somebody that'll give you that, that plate of options to work with and really can help direct you as far as what's the best fit for your, your dream home today. Okay, so when they come to work with your company, if it's a buyer, they're gonna be assured that that's gonna be something you're gonna look at for, if they're buying a home, you're gonna have that conversation with them that there are programs available. They don't have to know that, you're gonna actually have that conversation with them and, and inform them of what's available. Absolutely. Absolutely. And like here at JVM, you know, we, we fully pre underwrite everything so that, you know, when the buyer goes through that process and works with our team, they get a full vote of confidence and, you know, can take a certified letter onto the market to, to, to make sure that, you know, that they, they tout the strength of their offer. So um, certainly, you know, they'll, they'll be taken care of here. Yeah. And one, uh, other, um, uh, one other unique aspect is the way JVM operates on our team model, we're all incentivized to get people through the process and able to get them into a home. So a unique thing is we actually, our client advising team will speak with more people every single month than a typical loan officer would speak to in an entire year. So um, they're very experienced. We have 10 different down payment assistance programs and we're just talking about one of those here today. Okay. Um, so we'll run through all their options on what they qualify for and show the pros and cons of each one as well. So they can make an informed decision. Okay, and, and this was my last question because you had mentioned you, there's 10. So when I'm doing research, I see that there's like hundreds of <laughs> different programs. So how does that work? If you're saying there's 10, but there's there's so many more that are out there, can you help me understand that situation? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. So uh, each lender has access to different programs. Okay. Um, so we have access to 10 of what we feel are, are very strong programs to offer. Um, certain um, like credit unions might have their own internal programs as well. So. There's a variety of programs out there, um, learning about those programs. And I always recommend getting a second opinion elsewhere as well. So, um, and another thing that, to mention on that is when you're getting multiple opinions, you can actually have your credit run multiple times within a 30 day window without it having a negative impact. Mm -hmm. So price shop and look at your various options. Um, what we always recommend is we're happy to to be that voice of reason. If you get a second opinion elsewhere and you think it looks like a, a better deal, bring it to us and we can point out if it actually is a better deal um, or not. And we're happy to send clients elsewhere if we feel like they can get a be better deal elsewhere. We're happy to um, point them in that direction. We just, we just okay. want what's best for the client. Okay. And actually, I have one more question. So a lot of times people think down payment assistance programs are for First time buyers, they had to buy in a certain neighborhood. And you know, I don't think they really understand that you don't have to, you know, you're not 
you don't have to buy in a certain neighborhood in order to qualify for a certain down payment program. Do you want to discuss a little bit more about that? Because it's open to wherever you want to purchase, correct? Exactly. Yeah, it's uh, wherever they want to purchase and whatever they they can qualify for is really the limit. So um, there's there's no real cap on exactly where they have to be or what they have to um if they have to be a first time home buyer, that's not really a, an issue. Okay, well, that's, that's all the questions for me. And if you don't have any other more questions, Michael, we can wrap this up and thank you so much for taking the time to start our process of, you know, taking that journey down, down payment assistance programs. Great. Absolutely.